Good evening, everyone. I just want to give a shout out to my girl here, because you did an amazing job. So congratulations. My name is Karen Uda, as was said, and it is truly an honor to be here before you to briefly share my Fulbright experience. Honestly, it still doesn't feel real that my time here in Greece has come to an end. As I ponder upon these several, past these several moments, I could not have imagined a better experience. At first, it seemed quite daunting coming to Greece. I was a bit nervous. However, when you're in an amazing country like this, honestly, nine months is not enough. I can stay here for like five years and I'll still be thriving. So, I really enjoyed my time here in Greece. But sometimes we only focus on the renowned features of Greece, such as its islands and its ancient ruins. But this country holds much more. For my Fulbright grant, I decided to go up north in a city called Alexandropoli to conduct microbiology research in Democritus University of Greece. With my research, I was identifying and characterizing different gut bacteria and examining the way that they were metabolizing different compounds, compounds that were often used to treat bacterial infections. Now, during my time during this research, I was working alongside Dr. Bogobala and her lab in the Department of Molecular Biology and Genetics. And I honestly just want to personally thank her and her team for really welcoming me to making me a better researcher and learning skills that go beyond the research and that will actually resonate throughout my life. And I think it's very important for people to realize that the type of innovation that's happening here in Greece, especially in the field in STEM, is very important and is very vital, and especially in its smaller cities like Alexandria. Now coming into a city like this, with a population of around 60,000 people, you can tell very quickly, like, everyone knows each other. So when I showed up, hmm, let's just say I had multiple staring contests, you know? I won some, of course, but it was quite a weird exchange. But even through those exchanges, and when I was talking to the Greek grandmas at the bus stop, you can tell there was a lot of warmth and curiosity behind it. And I may not have chosen one of the more popular cities in Greece, but that's the beauty of this country and how welcoming it is. It has made me look beyond my research and has made me want to be a more involved member in the community. And that's why I ended up participating in the university's theater club and also volunteering at a local NGO for unaccompanied refugee children called Arsis. These experiences alone have allowed me to converse with various people and have these exchange of ideas and culture. And sometimes it simply took just taking a time and going out for coffee for three to four hours to make such deep connections with people. Now from it, not only am I learning so much about the people that I've met, but now I can say I've easily lashed out to my one cup of coffee for three to four hours. In all of this, I must say from not this is what honestly makes Fulbright so special. It brings together such strong intellectual people to pursue their passions, but it quickly humbles us to be very, it quickly humbles us very quickly because we are having to do this in a country and an environment that is foreign to us. And though I came to Greece for research, I'm now leaving with new experiences, new friendships, and honestly, probably a couple of extra kilos because of all the subaki that I've eaten. But in all seriousness, I want to say thank you to Fulbright Greece for giving me this opportunity to learn so much more about a culture that is different from my own and helping me grow to be a better researcher. As scholars, we are quite privileged to experience Greece in this manner, and we shouldn't take this opportunity for granted. I hope you all cherish the little moments you made along the way these past nine or 10 months. And I wish for the new Greek Fulbrighters setting out for their journeys to the US to have just as an amazing experience that I was fortunate to have in their country. Thank you so much. I'm so powerful.